who's next, Brady? Uh, Cindy, I just admitted Sergio Sol uh, Solorza, uh, who is a former University of Phoenix student. Okay. Hello, Sergio. How are you today? Good. How about yourself? Just wonderful. Um, thanks for joining us. You have 30 minutes to address the committee with your public comments. And that three minutes, did I say 30? Yes, I'm 30. At, I'm at three. I got 30 on the mind. You got three minutes. I'm sorry. All and right. that will start uh, whenever you're uh, ready to begin. I'm ready already. You're ready for me. All right. Go for it. Hello, my name is Sergio Solorza, and I'm here today to speak about my experience as a student of the University of Phoenix MAOM program or Master of Arts in Organizational Management program. My experience enrolled in this school was much like the other stories I'm sure you've heard. The school's financial counselors were quick to offer loans with the promise of finding gainful employment after graduation. Well, it never happened. They lied about their employment rates and promised me a career that could never be possible with their name on my diploma. After several years, I found out that the University of, of Phoenix actually discontinued their master's degree program I was enrolled in. When I called to inquire as to why, all they would say was times had changed without further explanation. Probably because it didn't work. I've tried to apply to jobs and use my degree to start my degree, my career, I'm sorry, like you're supposed to do after college, but employers never took it seriously. What they knew was that the University of Phoenix had a bad reputation, especially when a lot of military students from my era near Fort Bliss Army Base in Texas had also complained of being defrauded by this school. My degree has only harmed my prospects of employment and my debt makes it almost impossible to move forward with my life. I am currently retired and only receiving Social Security while living and taking care of my 92-year-old mother. I'm renting my house that I can't afford to live in because the mortgage payment is too high and I am stuck with over $70,000 of debt. I've tried to refinance my home only for there to be red flags all over my credit check because of the massive amount of student loan. It feels criminal that I have to pay for a degree that doesn't exist and it's not respected in any way. I have been turned down for government contractor jobs because of my extensive student loan debt. The University of Phoenix has forced me to put parts of my life on hold, the exact opposite of why I had signed up in the first place. I need a way out and I am not alone. The Department of Education has an opportunity to right the wrongs this school has done to me and thousands of students like me. We have all suffered at the hands of the state college, and it's just not right. That's it. Sergio, thank you very much for sharing with the committee. Um, Brady, who is next? 